Hi, I am Zaida from Denib Tech, and today let's talk about decentralized web nodes and decentralized identifiers. Recently, Daniel Buckner from TBD announced his new piece of technology called Decentralized Web Nodes, which are decentralized data storage and message relay nodes. A key part of that technology is decentralized identifiers, and a way decentralized identifiers can be used is to discover the keys and endpoints which are necessary in order to communicate with the DWN. So let me show you how DWN and DITs can be used together. I have a DWN running on dwn.denubtech.com and let's say I want to give access to a part of my data to a colleague. The information I want to share is an endpoint. That endpoint can be stored in a DIT document. So in that way, a colleague of mine can now resolve the DIT to a DIT document and see the endpoint. So let me show you with GoDiddy how we can create such a DID. So first I have to create a DID using a DID method. Um, let's say we choose iron. I add a service, I add a service ID, and I add a service endpoint, which is an object with a nodes array. And I'll create a DID. And what I now have to do is to resolve the DID and see if the endpoint is there. And there it is. I also created some other dits for you uh, to see if we can find the endpoints in the other dit methods as well. So let me show you if they are there. So great. A last thing I want to point out is that one of the core properties of DITs is that the DIT documents can be updated. So whenever you want to update the endpoint, you can do that. And every time you resolve the DIT to the DIT document, you will get the latest and most updated version of the DIT. Thank you for listening and hope to see you in the next video.